Better off without a man. Oh, uh, oh, ow, dear. Huh? Always Honestly, in a I'm rush. Sorry. Watch out where you're going, Diana. I'll keep that in mind for next time. I just ripped my pantyhose. Go and take the credit without me. Yeah, sure. I'll go get the cash and uh, buy another pair. But wait for me, all right? Wait for me. See you later. OK, bye. I'll see you. Yes. Oh. <sighs> Go on, Grandma, forget your password. Why is this machine so hard to understand? I hate technology. Why don't I help you out? How about you do me a favor and leave me alone? You look just like a con artist I heard about. What do you want? Me to show you my pin, and then the money will be gone from the card. By the way, they write about those scams all the time. <sighs> Finally. Lady. Ah. Please, I'm begging you. Let me go first and pay for my phone, please. Oh, yeah, what? right. Think you're special? Don't let him skip. This is literally a matter of life and death. I need to make a very important phone call. Please, let me go in front of you. <laughs> All right, go. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> he just needs to pay his phone bill. Thank you, lady. You've got... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Thanks a bunch. <laughs> Use the ATM already. I have to go. All right. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Hold, hold on, hold on. I've run out of minutes, and well, yeah. Pretty lady, do you need a ride? Uh, what? Is what your favorite word? <sighs> That's unexpected. Will you let me in ahead of the line? I have to repay my debt to you. Thank you, but I'm in a hurry and I need to go far. Doesn't matter. Are you having a bad day too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sergey. Diana. Let me take you. Oh. I have something to confess. Oh yeah, what's that? It's not actually that far if we go by car. What? I, I'm saying it'll be quicker if we go by car. That's what I've been saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Diana, come on, hurry up. I'm coming, I'm coming. Where have you been? It's okay, I'm already here. We're the last ones, by the way. Why are you dressed up like that? I wear it for good luck in my exams. <laughs> All right, stay serious. <laughs> We made it. Hurry up. <sighs> uh, examination card number seven, absolute and relative statistical values pertaining to performance and manual labor. Oh, that's very good. Go get ready. Oh, God, I hope you know this subject. Examination card number three. Statistical summary and grouping the concept and essence of market fluctuations, technical analysis of stock market statistics. Mm-hmm. Get ready. Thank you. I don't understand a single word. 
Who was the idiot who wrote it, huh? You should be here somewhere. Oh. Katya, don't worry. It's all very basic. The teacher will go over it in class eventually. Yeah, really. That's it. I'm tired of reading. By the way, do you remember that we're going to a Justin Bieber concert in a week? Whoa! <laughs> you can't even imagine how hard it was for me to get the tickets. You and I are just unbelievably lucky. By the way, I want to put on this black jacket. Dad brought it for me from London. You like it? <laughs> and you could wear the red one. Do you want me to give you the red one? Hello, Diana. Ground control to Diana. Are you listening? Yeah. How long are you going to dream about the Prince Charming? Come on. Katya, I've never had an encounter like that. That's all. Oh, you don't say. Why did he come up to me? And why wouldn't he come up to you? Look at you, beauty. You have great legs, and your figure in oh. general is just mwah. You're not just anyone. Yeah. I guess you're right. Oh, I still can't believe he gave me a ride over here. He even offered to. Oh, he did? <sighs> oh, you just haven't seen him. He's just unbelievable. He's charming. He's great. Does he have three legs? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? He does look as if he's from another world. Almost like a Hollywood actor, sort of. Really? Like Johnny Depp? Like Brad Pitt? Who could he look like? Do you know how he smiles? Like... Hmm. Taina, <sighs> frankly, I don't get what your obsession is. I don't get it. How can you fall in love at first sight with God knows who? You don't know him. But what if he never calls you? Just never calls you. And you'll be sitting here and waiting like a fool. Bye. Bye. And don't forget about the concert. Yeah. Hi, Mom. Uh, you went out again. Were you at Katya's? Still have no time? Your daddy's hanging out somewhere, too. Mom. You're both really totally wearing me out. I'm getting Mom, no help around the house. Mom, your neighbors can hear you. I'm in my own house. I'll shout whenever I want. I go to work. And I look after that old grandma of yours, as if I didn't need a break. Hello? Oh, Grandma, is that you? Oh, Mom is... Mom's still at work. Mm-hmm. And Dad... Dad is... Dad's out looking for a job. Mm. Yeah, decided to take care of his health. It's useful, you know? <laughs> hey, hey, Oh, miss. Grandma, I'll call you back Here's later, yeah? Here's your drunk father. Yeah. <laughs> Leave we him. were celebrating that she drank too much. Sit down. Sit down. Stay still. <laughs> oh... It's uh, not a holiday. What are, you, what are you saying? It's always a holiday when the pig flies. Uh-huh. Come back here, you good for nothing. Yeah. You better run, you this, old brick. I just can't take me. it anymore. Get up. Uh, good. Uh, someone called you earlier. Who called? I think his name was Sergey. Mom, why didn't you tell me sooner? What did he say? Uh, who was Sergey? Someone I know. I hope you didn't tell him something embarrassing well, about me. Well, you know what? I haven't been your secretary yet. Although I have been a dishwasher and a maid for some time now. Turns out I've been promoted and I get to chat with your men on the phone. I'm a grown-up. I can date whoever I want. You don't need to talk to him. Oh, you're dating now, are you? Is that what they call it nowadays? What if you bring me a child in the bottom of your dress? That's the last thing I need right now. Oh. <sighs> Dear Bernie, let me kiss you. Let me kiss you one more Go time. Go to hell, you idiot! <laughs> Here. Here you go. Go ahead and call Sergey. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Okay. Hello, Sergey? Hello? Hello, how are you? 
are you? This is Diana. Remember me? Hey, hello. I called you. I couldn't get through. Do you have a cell phone I can reach you at? Uh, a cell phone? Well, I, I actually lost it. <laughs> you should get a new one. You want to go to the movies? To the movies? Want to? I do. My friend barely got those tickets. There wasn't a single one on sale. <gasps> wow. That car looks amazing. And this is my Sergey. Oh, come on. Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding me. I've got a feeling that someone's not going to the concert with me tonight. Nope. OK. You're free to go, then. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> mm. <laughs> How are you? Hello. Hey, I got this for you. What is this? I want you to be in touch with me all the time. Oh, wow. A phone? Thank you. Come on in. <sighs> wow. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Pretty lady. Cool. <laughs> Who are the flowers for? Who are the flowers for? My mom likes flowers. Bagglesworth. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Meet Diana. Don't get into a cat fight. Uh, oh, no, I promise I won't. My ex girlfriend wanted to throw him out the window. Let's see how you two get along. Um. So you're considering me your girlfriend now? Is that a problem? It's not. Excuse us. <laughs> oh, it's so late already. <sighs> Listen, baby. My mom's coming back from a road trip in the morning. She's a wicked woman. Vice president of a bank. I understand. You can consider me gone. You are so considerate. <laughs> My sexy lady. <laughs> <laughs> so late. Sergey hasn't called me in two whole weeks. Do you think he met another woman? I don't know. Diana, call him yourself. I'm calling him all the time. <sighs> he keeps declining. Call from my phone then. You need to find out after all. Come on, Diana. You're behaving like a pushover. And you'd better love yourself instead. I keep teaching you, but there's no use. I'll call him. <sighs> What's his phone number? Yeah, yeah, so... <sighs> oh, hold on. My mom. Hello? Mom? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so one thing is, is that ap after our break, um, mm -hmm. let, yeah, let's call the client first, and then once we're done with our break, what happened? Then we can do what I'm talking to do. My grandma died today. Yeah, definitely.
I'm going to say it now. Hello, Sergey. I gave up a contract. I did it for you. Do you hear me? What could you possibly be thinking? Now they're coming to me. They're saying you recommended him. You're responsible. He's your son. And they're right. What do you want from me, huh? I already explained myself. I'm not going to meet the deadline. The work will be done later. They don't care about your timeline. They've got an urgent contract. Can't you understand? What keeps you so busy all day long? Beer and football? Football and beer? I just can't take it anymore. If your clients are more important to you than your son, I can leave. Before going somewhere, you need to have somewhere to go. Look at you. You're a grown man. You've achieved nothing by your own merit, Sergei. Leave if you want. Why are you looking at me? I'm so sick of you. You have to take responsibility. If not for someone, then for yourself at least. Be accountable for once. You don't know how easy you have it. Hello, Diana, listen. I... Oh, yeah? Your grandma. They say it's important to inject some medicine in case you suffer a stroke. Then there's still some chance. What chance did she have? She was 89. <laughs> Mom, don't torture yourself. After all, you were, well, not very... I don't think you knew how much Grandma really loved me. She gave the flat over to me, not to you. And not to her own son, either. She gave it to me. Oh, it's okay. Calm down. Open the door. I'm too sad. How are you? How have you been? My beauty. <laughs> Thank you. You're the last person I expected to knock on the door. Come on in. Meet everyone. Uh, this is my dad. This is mom. Sergey Katya. This is Sergey. <laughs> Katya has been my best friend forever. <sighs> We're grieving. <clears throat> I'll take that. Shall we lay the tablecloth? Let's drink to my mom's memory. <clears throat> One second. <clears throat> Sergey turned out to be quite a looker. I told you he was cool, Mom. Your dad and I will move to Grandma's flat now. My life will be completely different. I'll breathe freely. And you have a good place now. Your own place, Diane. Mom, this is an okay place. You should see Sergey's mother's apartment. He's used to different things. I can't compete. It's no palace, that's for sure, but it's your own. So take the opportunity. <laughs> Deanna. Yeah? Listen, can I crash here for the night? I'm a bit drunk, is it okay for me to stay? Of course. I'm gonna say it now, John. It is written in the stars. He scored a magnificent header to make the score even. He's taking the extra time with this penalty. They gave it away, but they shouldn't have. This is a big advantage. Now it comes down to Igor... Ar I see then. Defending. So and he totally Igor lives here now, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. And, uh, so naturally, what's this? Don't mind it. Let's go. Now You're you crazy. Let him sleep. The fear of walking through the schoolyard. <sighs> Are you out of your mind? What's wrong with Let's you? Go. 
Katya, that's terrible. Sit down. I'm happy. Do you want some tea? Yes. Listen, I'm just happy with him. You're the two people I love the most, and I want you to become good friends. Oh, no thanks. I could care less about friends like him. You know what? Keep in mind, I can say everything I think about him right to his face. <sighs> oh, come on. Don't get mad at me. Okay, fine. All right. I'll try to find common ground with him. But I can't promise you anything. <laughs> Thank you, Katya. Katya, you know, I really need you to help me this time. I was sure that you were mine. <sighs> this is a very, very, very beautiful dress. You, you look like a fairy, like a princess. <laughs> Hmm. Oh. <sighs> Want the truth? I feel like he's stealing you from me. Katya, come on. Yeah, I know. Come on, you'll meet your prince. Mm -hmm. I'll be a cat lady. Look, it fits just perfectly on you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Does it? <gasps> well, we have no choice. We have to take it. Right, but it's terribly expensive. I don't know. Lady, you're going to be the most beautiful bride in this dress. Your groom is going to carry you in his arms your whole life, not just at the wedding. Yeah, <laughs> try carrying me. We can offer you a line of credit. You won't have to pay everything at once. We'll also make a discount. Take it. When is the wedding again? Uh, well, I don't know. We haven't decided All right, yet. wonderful. Great. You already have the dress while well, you'll be making up your mind. And the dress is so great. The thread, it's luxurious. It's splendid. No, you have to take it. Well, of course you're taking it. <laughs> this veil, perhaps? Oh. You're so beautiful. Hello, Diana. Hello, Madam Elena. Pleased to meet you. Um, I've cooked some dishes for us tonight. Come on in, please. Uh, Sergey, give your mom some slippers. Uh, no need, Sergey. Oh, that's right. Well, come on in, that's please. That's better. Thank you. All right, here's the cake. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I don't have time for anything. I've taken up another part-time job. It's not that great, but I have some time left for my studies. All right, why aren't you eating? Let's put some salad and potatoes No need for to you. rush, Diana. We're not hungry. Sergey and I had dinner in a restaurant. In a restaurant? Why? You knew I was cooking. Please don't be mad. Stakeholders from the USA came. No food the whole day. I, we were anxious. I love that. We were anxious. Considering the fact that you never showed up at the presentation, we were all very anxious. Mom, enough. Why would I need to be at that meeting? Uh, maybe you'd like to taste the cucumbers or... With the... great pleasure. Oh, thanks. My parents pickled them fresh after picking them. Uh, Sergey, hold on. Uh, you're tired after work. Let me do it. All right. Here we go. To the meeting. Mm-hmm. My pleasure. And mine. <sighs> oh, the cucumbers smell delicious, actually. As they say, you can't run on an empty stomach. Diana, does he work so much that he has no time to eat? He doesn't. But you know what Sergei does do? Make me happy.
Are you gonna just leave like that? Without saying a word? What's to say? Oh, Mom. Come on. I know those patronizing grins are yours. I know what you're thinking. What am I thinking? You're just used to smelling like Chanel, not like cutlets. That the apartment is cheap. That Diana is a simple peasant. Hello? Hello? But you don't understand what I see in her. Frankly speaking, I don't understand what she sees in you. I don't know how a guy as egotistical as you got really lucky to end up with her. Try not to screw up your chance, she's great. All right, bye. Mom. Goodbye. Your mom didn't like me, right? So are you gonna leave me now? Come to me. <laughs> How about we go on a date? Sitting. Go get to work. Yes, sir. About it. My dad's got a quarterly bonus. We're having fun today, all right? <laughs> you need to take some time off too with your precious groom. <laughs> By the way, he goes to my gym. He's always huffing and puffing like a big bad wolf. But I must admit that his body's all right. Good for you. Yeah, Sergey keeps himself fit. He offered me to go to the gym too, but I have found another part-time job. We need the money for the wedding, so. Hold on. Isn't his mom, the COO, helping you? No. <laughs> she could have. Honestly. Strawberries? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Katya. I'm full. It's good here. Not like our, our place. Oh. Who's to blame for that? Hold on, Katya. That's all mine. Hmm. I can assure you. Don't you know what I need for that? To find myself at the right time in the right place and take all the berries at once, not one by one, in one fell swoop. Is that so? You need patience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could wait a lot. But you should let Diana graduate from the university. After that, pick your berries as much as you like. She's not showing up at the university at all. Diana, leave it. I'll throw it in the dishwasher. Mm-hmm. Why does she need a degree? It's just a waste of time. Unlike you, for example, will achieve a lot after you graduate. Of that, I'm sure. Because you're a natural, a born winner. <sighs> this is normal, I believe. This is how it's supposed to be. What's the most important thing in life? To achieve success, right? Success is very, very important, right? Diana, what do you dream of? Me? Mm-hmm. Um, I dream of having hot water. I'm sick of washing dishes in the ice-cold one. <laughs> Diana, what are you talking See, about? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 
Why would she learn? She has to find a job. By the way, Mom said that she could find a place in the bank for you. Seriously? Good morning. Hello. Could you tell me how to find Elena Sovska? Yeah, come I'm... with me. I'll guide you there. Ah, uh, <laughs> thank you. See you later. Come on, right this way. Did you bring your ID? We're going to the staff department. Yeah. Do you have a diploma of higher education? No. Well, what can we do? Do everything they tell you. You'll have to mm -hmm. sit at the reception and answer incoming calls. Mm -hmm. Can you type fast? I can. You'll also be typing then. All right, so I'll be a secretary then, right? Well, you could call it that. Thank you, Miss Elena. I won't let you down. You <laughs> don't look so good today. Did something happen? No, everything is okay. Hello, oh. Vladimir. Uh, hello, Elena. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. Don't let Sergey drink, all right? Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. Sergey? Sergey, is that you? You scared me. Why are you home so early? They just let us go early at work today, that's it. Were you sleeping or? Okay, but couldn't you have called me ahead of time? Didn't they teach you that? Aren't you alone here? Oh, Katya, hello. Hello. Thankfully, we didn't have a lot of stuff to do at work today. about this before we wanted to tell you but it just just happened all of a sudden and spontaneously I didn't even Katia I went with you to buy my wedding dress <laughs> all right come on make a scene go ahead no I'll go I'm leaving. Where are you going? You know I'm not gonna run after you. I know. Sergey, what are you saying? Can't you see she's hurting? <sighs> Can I have a cigarette? Uh, I don't smoke. Thank you. Today. 
Do you happen to have a cigarette? Those things kill. <sighs> oh, all right, sorry. The last one, here you go. I don't actually smoke. What happened to you? I got cheated on. <laughs> well, that happens. With my best friend. <sighs> so, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I really hate them. I hate both of them. That is sad. I hate everyone, too. Do you want some? Hi there. How do you feel? You're my personal hero. Oh. How did I... I need a moment. Sergei called me and said that you went berserk last night. You were running around the yard, thrashing everything in your way. Did he tell you the reason why? No, he didn't. But by the time he got there, all the neighbors already knew about what happened. Such a shame. I've embarrassed him. He will never forgive me. That's amazing, the prick. My son, he slept with your best friend, Diana, and you're worried about his reputation? Are you out of your mind? Do you know what you're saying? He's a good man. Mm-hmm. I guess it's my fault, too. I let him do as he pleased. I should have spanked him. 
He needed punishment. Maybe then he would have grown to be responsible. Drink the tea. You were my only hope, Diana. But he screwed that up, like he always does. All right, uh, I'm going to head back home right now. I'll talk to Sergey, and I'll explain everything. Listen, you're not going anywhere, you hear me? Not today, at least. You'll see them together. Your head will go crazy. And you'll attack him, God forbid. I can't let that happen. I'm his mother, but I won't let anyone offend you. I'm eternally responsible for those whom my son has hurt. <laughs> you know, I thought you didn't like me very much. You're the best thing that could have happened to my son. He couldn't have dreamt of you. A simple woman, someone who hangs on his every word. You don't care about his money, and you don't see his flaws. He has many of them. No profession, no money, nothing but ambitions and pride. You know what? Let's go to my cottage. Let's go. You will get some more rest. You should cheer up. Frankly speaking, you were lucky to get rid of him. Let your friend suffer. Lord knows she needs it. So much for being depressed. Come here and help me. Come on, come on, get up. Here, look here. Tear the lower leaves off. I really do love him. And I can't do anything to get him back. That's the problem, you love him. Therefore, you must learn not to love him. What will I live for then? What do you mean? You need to live for yourself, not for men, not for parents, for yourself. There's so many wonderful things in life that make it worth living for. If it gets too lonely, have a child. For yourself, too. That's what I did. I had him at a young age. But take my advice. Try to have a girl. Thank you. Oh, look how beautiful it is. Everything at the car dealership. I only have to pick a color. What color do you want? Well, I want lilac, of course. Come on, what? Lilac? <laughs> lilac, of course. Lilac Li auto.
I'll achieve it. Oh, uh, look at you. It's high time my wife oh, and I had a baby. So beautiful. Something to carry on. Are they in there? Oh. Son, oh. This is pretty bold of you. Have you come to beat me up? I've made a decision. It's a big one. I want to have a baby. Hmm. Could you help me... find someone, a potential candidate, to be the father of my future child? I don't want to love anyone. I'm done trying to love anymore. I, I want to become a cold and calculating bitch. No, wait, wait. I didn't really mean anything by that. I got it. Good girl. First of all, you have to change your attitude towards men. It's great that you are able to love someone so much that you are so caring, but you can lose yourself like that. Strangely enough, men actually like being used. All right. Please tell me then, where do I start? To them, what matters? is how you look. Oh, Elena, this is all so expensive. It's all right, don't worry. Let's go upstairs. <sighs> Let's get you shoes. <laughs> look, oh, wow. do you like it? Mm -hmm. Let's, Let's take go. it. Hello? Come on, enough with the gossip. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, oh, hello, Diana. You're literally glowing. You look stunning. Did you happen to win the lottery? Oh, not yet, but I am hoping that I'll win it soon. Thanks. I hope Lady Luck finds her way to you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Look at you. You look gorgeous. Oh, uh, thank you. You look gorgeous. <laughs> look what I have for you. What's this? It's who, not what. Potential fathers of your child, carefully picked by me. They're all clients of my bank. Look over here. He is rich and handsome. A rare combination. Do you like him? Let's move on then. Look, large business in Russia and overseas. Not bad. Well... You don't like him? We'll keep him as a last resort. All right, this one's my favorite. An athlete. Handsome and rich, has a nice business. What do you think? Don't you like him? Mm. Well, this one... Look, this one. He looks interesting, you know? This one? Vladimir Tomlin. Hmm, philologist, translator from a professor's family. His father left him quite a nice inheritance, however. Miss Elena, money is not a selling point for me. It's not? He's the one, then? Yeah. Well, all right. I'll arrange it. Hello, Vladimir. I'm glad Hello. to see you. Hello, Elena. It's been a while since you've graced us with well, your presence. your employees work so well remotely that I don't need them to Thank come you. in. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, I believe we've got an interesting offer for you. Um. Uh, meet Diana. She'll tell you everything in detail. Mm -hmm. Vladimir, Diana. Hello, sir. I'm Diana. Mm, Vladimir. Step over here. It's a better place for conversation. Thank you. <clears throat> Sit down. But this is my client. Uh, go have a smoke for a minute. But I don't smoke. Good for you. Now go take a break.
<laughs> so, here's how you live. Vladimir Tomlin, you've settled quite nicely. What? Freeze, stop. Stand and wait for me. Hey, stop. A cycling philologist. Let's go. Let's go. So what now? What now? We'll stick to our plan. Why are you worrying, huh? We'll make you a baby, a beautiful one. You need patience, lots of patience, to catch this one. <laughs> What? Go with your parents. Hmm. Watch out! Hey. Oh! Oh! Uh, 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 uh. Hey, hey, are you okay? Yeah, are you yeah, all right? I'm fine. Damn. Hey, lady. Wait, 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 wait. Easy there. Easy there. Oh. Hey, I know you. This is really unexpected. Uh, what? Diana, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Diana, why are you jumping in front of bikes, huh? Hey, you could have killed yourself. What? All right, then. Uh, what are you going to do? Do you need someone to pick you up? Uh, no. Uh, there's no one to call. I'll just walk. Uh, are you okay? Oh, All my right. leg. Let's call an ambulance. No, 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 no ambulance, please. Well, what are we going to do, then? Uh, uh, you have to administer first aid. What else? Thank you. This here is Rich. His name's Rich. Uh, I'm sorry for having such a mess here. I just, uh, I wasn't expecting guests, you know. Okay, hold on. Uh, well, it's, it's not here. Uh, all right. Uh, do you want some medicine? What? Uh, I have valerian root, I mean. No? What for? All right. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a mess, too. Uh, hey. Huh? Right. Hold on. Ah, hey, it's here. Here it is. <laughs> I got it. All right. Get lost. Get lost, Rich. Go. Go. He loves smelling other people's feet. <laughs> All right. Here you go. I'll give you some peroxide, too, if you want. I don't remember how it's done. Into the wound or around it. What do you think? Pour it right there. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. Carefully. <sighs> My grandma did this when I was a kid. Oh. <sighs> Is it all right? Thank you, yes. All right. This goes there. Good. Now the leg. All right, look. Uh, I'm going to touch the leg now. Uh, is this okay? Tell me whether it hurts or not, all right? Mm-hmm. Does it hurt? Mm -mm. Does it hurt now? Mm -mm. And how about now? Mm -mm. Ah! Ah! It's okay. It's all right. It's just... Uh, You've dislocated your joint. I only needed to fit it back in. Uh, I saw them do it in the movies. So <laughs> That's I tried. funny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how are you? Huh? It's fine. Uh, it just aches a bit, you know? Well, you'll recover soon. There's nothing serious, thankfully. <laughs> While I bandage your leg, you'll listen to a small little lecture about the fact that a runner is a danger for everyone. Not just for themselves. Well, actually, you were the one who ran over me. I was just trying to improve my health. How long have you been doing that? For a long time. Uh, for almost a week. I see. That's it. Let's check it out, okay? Yeah. You all right? Oh, uh, does it hurt? Uh, we'll sit down. Uh, I'll call you a cab. Oh, don't, don't, don't do that. Thank you. I can call a cab myself. 
Diana, but, uh, uh... Maybe you and I can have a cup of coffee? She's a strange woman, right, Rich? Right? Oh my god. Try to be a bit more careful next time. And do it without harming yourself. <laughs> That's nothing. On the other hand, Vladimir is feeling guilty now. <laughs> Good job. You're learning quickly. What's your next move? What's next? In a week, when the leg recovers, I'll remind him about me. Mm. Have you been reading the book that I gave you? I've learned it by heart. Let him feel the guilt when he first meets you, then he'll get used to me, and then, and then I am going to make him long for me. <laughs> Good girl, come on in. Liza, make us some tea. Sit down and talk to me. <laughs> oh, stop. And I was wondering where he went. Hey there. Hello. Hello. Look how happy he is to see you. All right. I'm happy too, actually. You just disappeared. <laughs> I see that your forehead has recovered and your leg too. We were worried, right, Rich? You didn't leave us your address or phone number, nothing. Yeah, oof. Get away from the lady, get away. Normally he's not very comfortable with strangers, but no. No, that's fine. Animals love me. It's called love at first sight. Uh, I mean, at second sight, right? <laughs> well, uh, I have no other explanation for it, but, uh... He's got good taste, right? <laughs> Which he got, not mm -hmm. surprisingly, from his good master. Rich. You'll have to walk us over to your house or he won't leave you alone. It would be my pleasure. I'll do anything to avoid sports. I can even walk you to Moscow if you want me to. Maybe it's your approach that makes you avoid them. Yeah? Is it? Maybe I wrote a book on the subject. Mm. The title is, uh, Sports for Beginners, a bestseller. A book yeah, on sports. That's right. So, I'm supposed to believe you? Can you tell me what I'm doing wrong in your own words? No problem, it's just your motivation is all wrong. Let's go. <sighs> Speaking of motivation... <laughs> if we get back to the warm-up, why do we need it? Let's recollect our table book. Sports for beginners. <laughs> <laughs> in addition to warming up all of your muscles, you also warm up your <gasps> capillary vessels. Uh, Diana! Wait, 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 where are you going? Diana. <sighs> Believe it, you can do it. Don't stop now. Where's your willpower? Follow me, huh? Come on. At this rate, I'm, I'm gonna die before ever getting pregnant. <sighs> Diana, move it. One. Uh, Come on, uh, two. Uh -huh. uh, and one more, three. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Sorry, hi. Hello? How are you? I won't be able to come today, sorry. <clears throat> I've got a cold, my throat aches. <clears throat> Say hi to Richie for me too, I miss him so much. Tell him I miss him. Here. All right then, so goodbye, I have to go. Argle some salt water. All right, then bye. Well, Rich, she misses us too, man. It's not a good day to run, right? Rich, let's go home. Let's go.
you driving so harshly? Well, because you're arguing again. That's why we're having this conversation. I'm not arguing, okay? Enough. Come here. I asked you to go slower. You got a baby on board. Shut your mouth. Are you coming? I'm coming. What do you want? Don't worry, I'll show you and tell you everything. Here's her desk. That's weird. She was here a moment ago. Uh, Lena, have you seen Diana? No. Ah, there she is. Diana, Bye. why are you creeping under the table? You've got a client. Uh, hello? Hello. Are you hiding under the table from me? Uh, no, I was just, uh... Do you need any help? Uh, yeah, I need you to, uh, come in and, uh... And dine with me later. Es un placer. Yo soy Vladimir. Y soy un filologista. Oh, wow. So you really speak five languages? Almost six languages. But it doesn't matter, actually. It's, uh... It's not difficult for me. It's just... Certain groups of languages have the same linguistic structure, therefore, if you know English, it'll be very easy for you to translate that. Mm -hmm. Am I boring you to death here? No, it's really interesting. It's just, well, uh... <laughs> well, I... I only know three languages. Written English, oral English, and swearing English. Why have you stopped picking up my phone calls? Tell me. Are you going out with someone else? When you ask about going out with someone else, are you implying that I'm with you? Or that we're together? I'm the linguist here. But that is basically the gist of what I am saying, yes. <clears throat> there is no one. And there can be no one. Because I... I apologize. <clears throat> what was that for? What? Well, your lips just happened to kiss my lips. Really? Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. So what? <sighs> I was testing a theory. That's all. Yeah? So what <laughs> now? Is your theory foolproof or what? <sighs> well, what's to say? Actually, to be quite honest, I... Uh... <sighs> How about... We go to my place and conduct further research for the experiment? No. Why are you so reserved? It's a little offensive, actually. Because I've got an important thing I have to do. At night? Well, yeah. Okay, then. You want to go to the movies? The last row? The last showtime? We'll see how you behave, Mr. Vladimir. Hmm. Can I at least walk you? No, thanks. I can go on my own. Hello, Elena. 
Lena, good evening. How are you? I need to talk to you right now, please. Well, have you decided? Yeah. I've decided for sure. But I'm not sure. What if he doesn't want me? What are you saying? There are no words that are as magical as sex without obligations for a man. Just make it clear to him that this is an adventure for you and that you don't want a serious relationship for all the money in the world. It will all be fine. <sighs> well, yeah. It will never happen again. One second. Wow. Is this you? Yeah. What brings you here? You had some merchant business, right? My business is with you. <sighs> well? Oh, what a gorgeous dress. <laughs> I'll call you back. Bye. Hello? Hey there. Please allow me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what else to do. Well, my dear, it's not so easy. Do you take vitamins? I take everything. We have to think of something else. Well, don't panic. Let me call your gynecologist. Perhaps she'll give some advice, hmm? How are you? Wait just a second. Come on, the dinner's ready. Didn't your mom teach you manners? Give me that. Don't spoil your appetite before eating, okay? No, she didn't. My mom used to say, first cup, first serve. <laughs> you know, it's an amazing thing. What is? We've met very recently, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, well, I got a feeling that... I don't know, I've known you forever. You're so light. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I don't know. You don't try to, to get into my life. You don't ask silly questions. I, I don't know. I, I've never had such relations before you. Before this, you know? It's... You know what? Uh, get this. No one has ever cooked dinner for me. By the way, something's burning in the kitchen right now. You should check it out. <laughs> You're right. You want to just let it burn? <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at it. Hmm. Yeah? Oh, Elena, you picked a bad time to call me. I'm leaving tomorrow, therefore I need you to listen to me now. I've talked to the gynecologist. She says that intimacy more often than once a week greatly reduces the chances of getting pregnant. Wow, really? I've been trying as hard as I can. The more the better, I thought. So I need to reduce the amount of sex to finally get pregnant then? <laughs> it is funny, isn't it? What's wrong? Nothing. Huh? Hold on. So you're... trying to get pregnant by me? And then, what, you're gonna demand that I marry you, right? <sighs> now, get away on. from me, okay? Don't. <sighs> and here I was wondering where you came from. Always smiling. Nah, no, she's not interested in diamonds. You can't drag her into a restaurant. Well, but we've been to yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Once I thought it was a miracle. I even thanked God I met a normal woman, and it turns out that she's just. <laughs> Vladimir. Now don't touch me. But. Just get out. Let me explain everything to you. What are you gonna explain to me? I've heard it all already. Please, just leave my house. I'm asking nicely. Just hold on. Let me explain it to you first. I don't need anything from you. I just need a child. I want a kid for myself. So you're just saying that you would get pregnant by me and then just go away? Don't be ridiculous. You're insane. You even have a fitting name, Diana. The goddess of the hunt. The hunt for men. Uh, what? Just take a look at yourself. Have you ever seen yourself from the outside? You're so afraid of losing your freedom that you're going to rot alone in your apartment just like a mole. I, I don't understand. I don't understand you. Why are all men like that? Do you want me to write a paper certifying that I don't need anything from you or that you, you, can't you spare a bit of your sperm? Listen, lady, you do know there's such a thing as a donor bank. You can get sperm for free there. You should go. called me over here we want to hear all the juicy details from you the intimate ones preferably <laughs> ladies I had nothing to tell you before now I have even less I'm sorry oh come on do we have to torture you as if there was nothing between you he's there standing in the hall right now <sighs> hold this <laughs> Thank you. 
So why me? Well, it's because you're healthy. Mm -hmm. You're athletic. You run and swim. It's important, and you're you're clever. And you have beautiful eyes. I'd love my child to have eyes like yours. I'm really in love with light eyes. So you just chose me like a horse at a stable. Did you take into consideration my teeth? Huh? Oh, of course you have, right? Did you come here to Batmouth? No, me? not at all, no. I came... Uh... Look, I've been thinking we should have handled yesterday differently. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And I agree. I've also been thinking about the baby. I realize that this wasn't in your plan, of course, but I... I would like to have the baby, too. You do? Yeah. You just described my lonely future so vividly to me yesterday that I thought I, I could use a baby, you know? I think it'll keep me busy. All right. We mm -hmm. just have to discuss everything in detail. Yeah. Are you all ready? Me? Yeah. No. Oh, then perhaps we should when you finish. Okay. All right, then I'll be waiting for you here, okay? Mm -hmm. Agreed. Agreed. All right. Well, what are we looking at here? I'll take care of the pregnancy costs. The doctors, carriages, vitamins and other stuff. You won't have much of an income while pregnant. Well, why wouldn't I? I do have savings. Eh, you can keep them. In return, I demand that you officially recognize me as the father of the child. All you have to do is write an application for the registry office. <sighs> All right, I'll sign everything. Mm -hmm. Just stop looking at me like that. Do you want me to sign everything right now? <laughs> and I want you to understand there can be no love or other nonsense of that kind, okay? And so on. <laughs> you got it. We're done with the figures, so let's get down to business, right? Again? Well, what were you expecting? Let's go. Congratulations, I finally did it, right? Mm. What? It's over now. We don't need affection. We're gonna have a baby. Congratulations, partner. All right. Mm. That's right. <sighs> so what? I, I was nervous, of course. Well, what do you think? I was sitting there, thinking, what are you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> well? Hello, Diana. Hello, Sergei. Sergei, didn't I ask you to bring the bottle? Hello, Diana. Hello, Katya. How are you? Long time no see. We're doing wonderfully, actually. Right? I'm Vladimir, by the way. Uh, Right, let me introduce you. This is uh, Katya and Sergey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and who are you to her? Taxi driver? Or a colleague, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Excuse me, but who are you to ask personal questions like that? There's no need for a scene. Why do you care about who he is? Oh, I got it. He's he's your ex, right? Yeah, right. Ser Sergey, right? Yeah, yeah, I've heard a lot about you, dude. I'm not her husband yet, but I do hope I will be soon, you know, just like a happy father. We're coming from the maternity center right now. Congratulations. We're very glad, right? Thank you so much. Excuse us. We're in a hurry. People are waiting for us. Goodbye. Let's go. Goodbye. Why are you Come Yankee? on, Sergey. Don't make a scene. I'll do what I want. I said let's go, so let's go.
Thank you for lying. What do you mean? I mean, when you said that you were dreaming of becoming my husband. Ah, uh, that's nothing. It's a white lie. Wait, are you still in love with him? Me? Oh, yeah. That ex of yours, I mean. Well, I don't know. No. I don't know. Anyway, I just want him to think that I'm all right. That's right. But I wasn't lying. He's in the third box. I'll be back. All right. I'm waiting. Hello, Diana. Hello. You're looking good. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm glad everything worked for you. At least your kid has some kind of father. And you'll have some money. It's not about money. It just played out that way. Funny how things are. Yeah, I understand. Keep telling everyone that you have nothing to do with hey, it. Hey, Miss Elena, are you feeling all right? Because you don't look very well. Oh, yeah. Well, dear, I got here and... Katya just went completely crazy about everything. What does she want? Sergei's working, helping her with the baby, puts food on the table. She just can't get enough, you know what I mean? He regrets it so much that he let you slip away. He didn't want to deal with her at all, but she made him marry her. It just played out like that. Of course, he had no job let and- Let bygones be bygones, Miss Elena. I'm not holding any grudges at all. He came to you, you know? To me? I live with Vladimir now, and we just dropped by to take some things for the maternity home. Katya is applying for divorce. Sergei started drinking. It's bad. Diana, could you talk to him? He'll listen to you. See him at least, will you? If you still love me at least a little. Hello? Hello. Elena, what brings you here? Hi. Oh, you know. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Hey, what's wrong with her? What did she want? What? Oh, Vladimir, I'm gonna stay here tonight. All right, look, stop with the nonsense here. I'll, I'll make dinner and you'll have a proper rest and then we can... Uh... No, I just want to be alone before the maternity home. What did she tell you? Nothing, it's fine. I'll call you later, yeah? Yeah, take the keys then. Getting divorced. Have you heard? <laughs> I thought you might want to know about it. And why would that be? Why are you so cold, huh? <sighs> I've come to make peace. everything to go back. Don't worry. I'll adopt the child. If that guy is gonna pay alimony, of course. You're 
saying <sighs> that Katya left you and you decided to come to me. <laughs> you think that foolish Diana forgot and forgave everything? That I'm ready to bow down to you for leaving me back then for my best friend? What are you talking about? Is it because of him? Yeah. He loves me. He actually cares about me. He he actually loves my child. He, <laughs> he treats me like I matter. Stop playing hard to get. You think I don't know anything? You're being used. <sighs> What's that? My mother told me everything about you. I just couldn't wrap my head around when I saw you with that guy in Alexis. Turns out you're just an incubator for him. What have you done to your life? You're just sleeping with rich men. You give birth and he'll leave you. And I'll be with you. Forever. Think about it. <sighs> Screw you and your love, you hear me? <sighs> Come on, why don't you go run to your rich hey, guy? What are you starting, man? Go home. Just go. Diana, I'm coming. Diana. Why are you no. even with her? Come here! I swear to home, man! Why are you here? <laughs> calm Let down, me go! Right? Just calm down. Are you calm yet? Are you calm? Yeah. You sure? Are you sure? Yes. <sighs> Oh, dear. Oh, stop it. Calm. Oh. Yeah, just calm down, stop it man. Stop right now. Go home. What is it? What's with the baby? Huh? What's going on? What happened? What happened? Nothing yet. Is it all right? Oh, my dear. Leave me alone. Poor kid. Do you even care about me? After all, you only need the child. What? The baby will be born soon, and then you'll be able to leave me. Hold on, it's gonna be fine. Go oh, away. Just it's leave now, fun. Vladimir. Go oh, away. Everything's gonna be fine. Breathe, breathe. 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 Hey. Be patient, okay? Oh, my dear boy. Oh, my God. My... What is it, my baby, huh? All right, go to sleep. Sleep, now go to your mom with your mommy. Huh? Oh, wow. Hush, 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 hush. All right, I'll go clean the apartment before you arrive. <laughs> Uh, tomorrow I'll get the car seat too, okay? And the clothes, the napkins, and stuff. Do you really want us to live with you? Of course. You're my family, aren't you? Oh, uh... <laughs> we'll make a baby's room out of the cabinet. Until then, he'll sleep with us, okay? He should see his mom and his dad when he wakes up at night, you know? <sighs> Mommy and daddy, together. Why... the change? Because I love you, silly. And you know that, don't you? <laughs> Come over here.
I love you very much. Look at how much I love you! Diana! As you can see, I have a big heart! <laughs> Be my wife! I love you very much! Oh, Diana! Hold on! My Diana. dear! Diana, babe! Oh, Our congratulations! Congratulations! <laughs> we love, love you. you! Hold on! Diana! I'm going what? to her too! Look, we got you something! What, what are you telling Diana! Me? Look! Oh, hey! What? Is he hey. your dad? Diana! Diana, is it him? It's him! Oh, <laughs> Hold on, you Diana. just stop! Are you breastfeeding the kid? Stop are you it breastfeeding already. him? She is! Stop she it. is! Yeah! Feed the kid! <laughs> she is. Hi, Mom, hi, Dad. 